What's up guys, Oface here, and today we are going to be talking about Anthem. For those of you that do not know anything about Anthem, this is going to be the episode for you. We are going to go ahead and go over everything we know about Anthem to date, and tomorrow we are going to be starting with live gameplay of the demo right here on YouTube. Hope to see you guys there. I'm Oface. And let's start the show. Alright, for those of you that do not know, Anthem is an upcoming online multiplayer action role-playing game. It is being developed currently by BioWare and published by Electronic Arts, EA. I know we got to stay away from EA games. They had a little controversy here at the beginning of the year with Star Wars. But, guys, I have played the alpha of this game, and it was, it was good. I enjoyed it. Believe me, I would have loved to have streamed it and got my EA account banned and, you know, gone through that whole hoopla. But tomorrow, we are going to be playing live the demo at 12 o'clock. Hope you guys tune in. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and go over what we're going to be doing here. For those of you that do not know, Anthem is coming out for Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Tomorrow, I will be streaming it on PlayStation 4 Pro most of the day. Solid state hard drive, the whole works. Uh, Saturday, I'm going to be doing some streaming as far as the Xbox goes. And hopefully, I will be doing some PC streaming on Sunday. That way, you guys will have a good combination of work there to be able to compare the graphics and really see how you like the overall feel of the game. All right, for those of you that do not know, tomorrow at 12 o'clock, January 25th, the Anthem demo will be available for Origin Access Premier subscribers and pretty much anybody that pre-orders the game. On February 1st, they will be hosting the demo again for anybody to try. So if any of you see this game and you think you might like it, look for this in the future. Like I said, February 1st, anybody will be able to get a taste of this game. And hopefully you guys will dive in and enjoy it like I have. Just so you guys know ahead of time, BioWare did state that the balance for the demo will be significantly different from the final game, meaning that the economy may be altered. You won't be playing through the intro tutorials and other stuff like that. Roughly, the size of the demo is just about 43 gigabytes of space also. So for any of you that are looking to download this demo or the one coming up on February 1st, be sure to clear some space because last time when I played the alpha, from the moment it opened, these servers were hit hard. It took a long time to get in. Everybody wanted in this game. So make sure you've got your game fully up to date by the time you are ready to play. Anthem's release date is gonna be on February 22nd, 2019. System requirements for those of you that are not gonna be playing with the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox, are they require Windows 10, that's a given. I mean, I was into Windows 7 for a long time, but as I've grown to like it, they do recommend Windows 10 and require it. They do ask that you at least have an Intel Core i5 3570, 8 gigs of RAM, a GTX 760 with at least 2 gigs of video RAM, and at least 50 gigs of free space. That is the minimum requirement. What do they want you to have? They want you to have like Tony Stark's computer over here. That's just if you want to get the full Anthem experience. As we're nearing closer to this demo date, they are beginning to release more videos through IGN and other sources. And what we've learned so far, a few little just interesting facts for anybody that wants to try. There is an artificial limit on how high you can fly, which your javelins can go pretty much fly around for those of you that don't know. There's actually going to be six difficulty modes. I know, it's going to be good. There is easy, normal, hard, and then there's three tiers of Grandmaster. And I cannot wait to dive into those with you guys as I buy the game and level up. The higher the difficulty mode on this game also, the more HP and damage the monsters are going to do. But the higher quality of the loot you're going to receive. For those of you that do not know and aren't used to these games, it's always been this way. The higher the monster you fight, the harder the level, the more likely you are to get better loot. There's a few games that aren't like that, but then again, who wants to sit there and spend so much time on a game, spend hours trying to get one thing, and you've got one guy going in on easy mode and getting the whole setup, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, moving on. 
live stream tomorrow guys if you guys give me a watch on the live stream tomorrow at 12 it's really worth watching because you'll get a better sense of how the combat's gonna work especially as the difficulties move on um, you'll get to see the team relations I'm gonna be playing with a few of my friends I'll also probably be playing with a couple randoms we'll just have to see how it goes who can get on who can't you'll see the, uh, the different encounters You'll see how the enemies differ as far as their tier goes. You'll also get a really good look at the javelin customization, how it works, and, you know, just the overall feel of the game. Anybody that really wants to get into the nitty gritty of this game, recently BioWare started releasing a series of videos that really break down Anthem's various systems, the story, the combat mechanics, etc. And it's a way easier to digest and understand than what I could explain to you. I will have those links in the description below. Give them a click, give them a like, give them a subscribe. They're really trying to help the player base understand the game before they dive into it. I hope you guys check that out as well. Just so you guys know, again to make it clear, Anthem is an online multiplayer RPG shooter. It's very similar to Destiny, Warframes, Borderlands 2. You get the gist. One of the characters, if I'm not mistaken, might even be a warlock. I don't know, that's just me. I think they look a lot alike. Me and some of my friends differ on this opinion. You guys can judge for yourself, but that guy's gonna be called a warlock when I'm playing. Anyway, this is set in a science fiction future. Players take on the role of a freelancer. Piloting an Iron Man type exosuit, they like to call a javelin. You can either play solo, you can play with three teammates, and all the players will complete missions. They'll explore seamless. It's, it's an open world game. All the games are going this way. You guys know what that means. I'm not going to sit here and bore you with that. You level up your javelins and the challenge difficulty in games with the bosses level up as well. A couple major points to be aware of. Anthem can be played single player or in a team of four. But it always will require an internet connection, guys. I know for some people that sucks. Um, but that's just the way these games are moving these days. I, I hate it for you guys. Hate it. Anthem does have a branching story, but not to the degree you might expect from other RPG games. They'll branch out, but they're not going to go so in-depth that you get lost in what you're doing. Again, guys, this is EA, so we're going to go ahead and throw this out here. There are microtransactions, but strictly for cosmetic gear. They will have no playing benefits. EA wanted to make sure to throw that out there because I believe they are just sick and tired of having their name dragged every which way, which I guess I could understand that. I wouldn't want to be in their shoes either. All future story missions will be free for all players. That means DLCs, guys. This is something we have not seen from a game in a long time. Destiny gave out a few, and we all know why they did that. Obviously, it wasn't quite up to par. The main stories were good. The first two DLCs, eh, not worth buying. But they will be giving out their DLCs free of charge, guys. At launch, as of right now, there will be no PvP. That is a downer. I was a little disappointed with that. Another thing I was a little disappointed with is right now they are saying that crossplay is on the table. They're not really saying that it's gonna happen, but at the same time, they're saying it's at the edge of the table. It may happen, it may not. Based on Sony, yeah, it's not gonna surprise me at all if it doesn't happen, but I would really like to see crossplay happen with this game. It looks awesome. Another awesome thing about this, every group activity will have built-in matchmaking. What this ultimately means is that you don't have to worry about trying to find a squad, even for Anthem's more difficult group experiences. It will help you build in matchmake and find a squad. You don't have to go out and look like in Destiny. You don't have to join a group on PlayStation to try to find raid members, which is awesome. Another awesome thing I do like about Anthem, it doesn't matter if you're max level and you're low level. If you're low level and you're in with a high level person, you are going to be fighting your level stuff and doing just as much damage as the high level person. That to me is awesome because a lot of my friends get games after me or I get games after them and it always sucks when they're just dragging you through the game. You feel like you don't get the story and that is not going to be the case with this game. 
that is something very exciting to look forward to. All right, for those of you that are wondering, what is Anthem? I mean, are we pledging allegiance? Anthem is set on a post-apocalyptic-like planet like ours. It was created using a mystical tool called the Anthem of Creation. This I did not know during the alpha and it drove me nuts because I had no idea what the Anthem was. Um, the main thing is, is they just forgot to turn it off after they created the planet. So for thousands of years, the Anthem of Creation had been humming away, so to speak. It had been mutating and changing the way all the humans on the planet were set to survive. Um, a growing number of enemies started popping up the freelancers, the Dominion, and our missions are to help the residents of the fort, and we need to discover the secrets of the Anthem of Creation as we go. The different systems. This has been a really hard thing for me to keep up with. Every video you see now is, what should I be in Anthem? Which should I choose? Just so you guys know, it doesn't matter. You can choose one person. You can be a ranger one mission. Your next mission, switch, be a colossus. You don't have to set your guy as one person. You don't have to worry about picking one single javelin throughout the whole mission. And I see this all over YouTube. You have to be this. You want to be this the whole time. No, you don't. Enjoy it. You've got a ranger, which is an all-around guy you can do just about everything. You've got a Colossus, which is a tank. Awesome. You've got Storm, which is a glass cannon mage. Go figure. MMO feeling, right? And you've got the Interceptor, which is the rogue, so to speak. You dart in and out using melee weapons and high damage. Awesome. So again, for those of you that don't know what you want to be, it's okay. Switch around, play them a few times, see what you think. Uh, like I said, jump in that demo jump in that demo you will be able to sit there and try them as much as you want have a good time there's no cap on it and uh, I hope to see you guys there the activities in Anthem what are they gonna have um, it's gonna be a lot like destiny they're gonna feature group and solo activities dungeons raids and open world missions they're they're not really going into the PvP aspect yet but you're gonna be able to have a lot of fun with your friends you're gonna be able to dance Oh, don't know where that came from. Maybe Destiny. Let's ask our warlock. Anyway, this should be a really good story that progresses through missions just like Destiny. And as you level up, you'll be able to hit strongholds, which are a dungeon type experience that require a full team. So basically, it's like a raid, except you only have to have four people. You get the most valuable loot there, and they take roughly 30 to 45 minutes to complete. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much all I know about Anthem at the moment. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you want to learn more about Anthem, go ahead and hit up their link down here in the description. Go over there, check it out. Again, we will be streaming this tomorrow at 12, as well as Saturday and Sunday on multiple different systems. You can compare the graphics and see what you think for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please feel free, like, share, subscribe. Every little bit helps me and my channel build. Our past Fallout 76 videos got tons of views. Thanks to you guys like, sharing, and subscribing. So please continue to do that. I hope you guys have a good day. And as always, if you're going to get them, get them in the face. Subscribe.